right, coming up on 1030, that means it's time for some celebrity dish. That's right. Welcome back, Norman Baker, pop culture expert and, of course, TV personality extraordinaire. And right, my good friend for the last five minutes uh -huh. or so. Yeah, we go way back. Five minutes. Y'all got a real uh -huh. strong bond. Right. Uh, listen, I was just telling you, it is it is so cool to see you in person because we've seen you on our, on our uh -huh. TV sets for so long. Yeah. Yeah. Wendy Williams and other shows. So, uh, hello, hello. Hello. You thank you so much for inviting me here. I'm loving D.C. Yeah. As soon as I like got off the train, I hear like doing the butt, and I'm like, oh, I'm in the right place. Yeah, you, didn't, you didn't miss the right. uh -huh. <laughs> So what you got going on? Because you stay busy. I uh, am working as Sherry Shepard right now, yeah. but also I have an, uh, an Instagram. Uh, every day I do like pop culture on Instagram, uh -huh. so I give like one minute like roundups of the yeah. day's pop culture stories. Yeah, I, I love that you do that because it's like everything you need to know. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to like celebrity <laughs> drama and the tea uh -huh. in, in one minute. And yeah, you can just instead of scrolling, just stop on right. me for one minute. And you got it. <laughs> and he does it best. I mean, he worked right. with Wendy Williams, so yeah. who, who better, right? <laughs> All, right. All right, you ready to hop into this? Let's do it. Let's get into the mess. <laughs> <laughs> See, see the excitement. I like this guy. All right. <laughs> so, uh, former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Eva Marcel uh, turns off her Instagram comments. Speaking mm. of Instagram, after fans criticized her. Her physical appearance in recent photos but that didn't stop the comments many people just went to other photos and left their negative remarks there however other fans came to her defense reminding people to be kind as Eva is currently going through a divorce so they, I, I guess they're saying she's a little thinner yeah. Yeah. Um, than they remember but uh -huh. it, it, social media can be both so positive yeah. and so toxic uh, true this is a tough one because like she puts herself out there, mm -hmm. but at the same time, we know from experience, like in the past, you don't judge someone's yeah. physical appearance because yeah. you don't know what they're going through. Yeah. So it's just kind of like, let the lady be herself, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. I had the opportunity to uh, do an event with her down in Atlanta before, and uh -huh. I got to tell you, she's a strong woman and very nice at that. Yeah. And so uh, she'll be able to get through it, but to your point, body shaming. I mean, uh -huh. we haven't learned by now, guys. Yeah, exactly. It's a no-no, uh -huh. and it really hurts. Yeah, it know? does. It's a shame. Um, yeah. and, and while she's strong, and I'm sure she'll be fine, I think of the people who per perhaps don't have the thick skin that she she has. Yeah. So I wish we'd all uh, just learn our lesson and, and stay off of that topic when it comes right. to criticizing. Exactly. All right, well, uh, social media users were shocked over the weekend, that's an understatement, after Kiki Palmer spent her birthday with what I think people assume is her ex-boyfriend, Darius Jackson. The two were seen hanging out in an Instagram Live uh, posted to Darius's account. Sources allegedly close to the former couple claimed they split after the Usher drama went down. Remember, remember that? Uh, uh -huh. Darius caught flack last month after he criticized what Kiki wore to an Usher event in Vegas, tweeting, quote, you a mom. <laughs> Uh, Eloquent. Because of what she was... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, eagle-eyed fans spotted a new tattoo with a group of photos she posted to Instagram, and the Shade Room was on the case. The uh, Shade Room says it appears Kiki has Darius's birthday tattooed under one of her, we'll call it, cheeks. Okay. Oh, wow. uh, what do you... Uh, I mean, people wrote dissertations uh -huh. on this whole <laughs> drama. What do you make of this? What's the takeaway? You don't get a tattoo of... Oh, that's the... That's the takeaway. I'm stuck on the tattoo on the booty cheeks. Like, that's what I'm stuck on. I can't get past it. They had so much drama this yeah. year. And then now we find out, like, he's... You're forever... Well, they were forever linked with the baby. But, yeah, we find out, like, he's forever on her body. I just... Uh, I feel like it's ill-advised. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He picked up that phone, called her and said, Kiki, do you love uh, me? <laughs> and she said, yes, I do. And uh -huh. now they got that old thing back. <laughs> right. I mean, that's well, all that's out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know that he's an ex anymore, unless this is just really great co-parenting. Yeah. I don't mm. know. Um, that said, maybe it's a good lesson in, in staying out of folks' business as True. far, as, as, far yeah. as drawing conclusions as to what the status of their relationship is. Because folks made a good point that they never said anything themselves yeah. about breaking up. Or right. not being together Although, anymore. like, an inside source told people, right. which is probably just Darius. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> an inside source said that, like, he was done with her. So yeah. we just kind of took that as true. Because, yeah. you know, People Magazine, that's well, that's the truth, and, right? And, I mean, that's gospel. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on. Bravo is shutting down claims made by Bethany Frankel that NBC Universal uh, forbade reality stars from speaking out about mm. alleged mistreatment. An attorney for Frankel alleges that... Bravo and NBC violated a California law by forcing employees to sign a non-disclosure agreement, blocking them from disclosing, quote, unlawful acts in the workplace. 
Frankel, in a legal letter, has also claimed that Bravo and NBC distributed revenge porn Oof. and covered up acts of sexual violence, which mm. both have vehemently denied. A spokesperson for Bravo says that confidentiality clauses are standard practice in reality TV and that they encourage employees, including current and former cast members, to discuss and disclose any alleged, alleged unlawful acts in the workplace, including harassment or discrimination. Despite all of this, sources... Close to Bethany say she is openly bragging about taking down Bravo, so it is likely this will get messier wow. in the coming mm. weeks. She would not be Bethany uh, without, if she Truth. didn't do this, right? Truth. Um, those allegations are pretty serious. It's very serious. It's like really shocking that like this, that this could happen. But I, I just feel like Bethany, like she made her money mm -hmm. from the skinny girl, which she promoted on Bravo right. a lot. So it's like, a little hypocritical, I mm. feel like, that she's, like, trying to take them down now. Hmm. I don't know. Think? Yeah, protect the brand, uh, ultimately, you know, on both sides. But at the same time, it seems to me as if she's trying to benefit from this, maybe from right. a financial uh, perspective. Uh -huh. okay. uh, it's one thing from a, a morale standpoint. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. It's a little fishy right there. It is. And I feel out. like they re re revamped the Real Housewives of New York. So it mm -hmm. kind of, like cut her off from like ever coming back to the show. Yeah. So I feel like now she has like an ax to grind. Yeah. I think this will be interesting because it seems like she's not gonna go down without a fight. I agree. And I, I, yeah. I, wonder, I wonder if this is the kind of thing where Bravo just settles uh -huh. because the allegations are so serious in they this are. day and age. Yeah. I mean, it'll get you in some serious trouble, uh -huh. so we'll see. Uh, Larsa Pippen says, if she and Marcus Jordan got married, <laughs> Exactly. Uh -oh. She doesn't think his father, Michael Jordan, would attend the wedding. Larsa was recently addressed, uh, recently addressed the question on the show, venues, rings, and other things. Uh-huh. We listen rumors. to that all the time, uh -huh. right? right. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, what yeah. are the go-tos? Uh -huh. Amid rumors, the couple could soon be engaged. The couple was asked, do you think you would have a wedding on a reality show? To which Larsa turned to Marcus and said, quote, I don't think your parents would come. However, to be clear, Larsa confirmed the couple is not engaged. Wow. I mean, why would Michael Jordan go to the wedding of his son and his co-worker's ex-wife? Like, mm. I don't understand why yeah. he would ever go, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, duh, Larsa. <laughs> <laughs> That's your angle. Uh, yeah. Larsa, you ain't said nothing new. Right. <laughs> Coming soon to a t-shirt near you. Duh, right. Larsa. Duh, Larsa. Uh, you know, it's going to be, uh, quite honestly, it, do we all think this is going to last? I mean, it, it, uh, I don't I think mean, it's going to last. Just downright plain and simple. The safe bet is probably not. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I, wedding, yeah, right. And if it does happen, okay, we'll see yeah. how long that marriage lasts. Uh -huh. I have been stunned at how long they've been able to drag this thing out. Yeah. Right? Like, there, there hasn't... I don't know that people really care. Oh, they and care. Yet I, they, I think so. I, not about, like, I, I think they, they, the, the drama with um, Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen is the appeal. But as far as them, like, yeah. they're not really stars in and of themselves, right? Yeah. So it's just a weird thing that they keep on, on dragging. Right. And the drama is still the same. Pippen doesn't like it. Jordan doesn't like it. Uh -huh. What yeah. else is new? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, right. what, what else right. are we going to... But make know. sure you tune into season eight of The Real Housewives of <laughs> <in> Miami <laughs> to find out what happens, I guess. <laughs> oh, my right. I'll tell you, speaking of uh, tuning in, make sure you tune into Lion Lunch Hour because our friend here will be on. Uh, I know you saw the drink, so oh, that's why no, he's dancing. I cannot wait for that. That's why I'm here. <laughs> right, exactly. Right. Um, you might want to go to his in Instagram, by the way, for uh, your, your show uh -huh. with all the tea. Uh, how, at how Norman Baker you? TV, where we get into the mess every day. Very easy. Norman Baker TV on Good Instagram. to see you, dude. Uh -huh. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for having Absolutely. me. Absolutely. All right, keep spilling the tea. I will. Still, <laughs> he's like, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> right. Still ahead.